Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here. I promised you, I said to you that I'm gonna vlog more often. Not that anybody asked for it, but here we are and it's Christmas and I just thought that I would make my final vlog of the year, my final video of 2020. Three. 24 coming up, I keep forgetting. Anyways, you're gonna spend the day with me and I'm gonna actually take you through a brand new workout for my brand new program. And I thought instead of doing it like all high production and all follow along, I just thought I wanted you to see me go through it and me work out through it. And I'm gonna do a voiceover so then you can pause and listen to it whenever you want and you can go at your own pace. But also I just really have enjoyed doing more of the vlogs because I feel like you can kind of see what I'm doing and kind of come along with me on this journey and figuring things out in life. Like we always are. I think sometimes people forget because they see surface level, they're like, she's got her shit figured out. And I'm like, babe, no, I do not have anything figured out. I'm just trying to figure it out. But listen, I need to show you the Christmas tree because this is the first proper Christmas tree I've had in a while. My mum and my sister-in-law came over and they did it all up, bless them, and they did such an amazing job. I'm so thankful for them. They're the best family in the world and they made it all cute and Christmassy. I've just come back from the States and I'm so happy to be back because every time I leave, it breaks my heart leaving this girl. Oh, hello. You wanna say hi to your aunties? Hi, Tim. Is that a squirrel? Is that a squirrel? squirrel? So I'm basically trying to figure out how I can travel with her to and from the States. And it is becoming quite literally just so difficult because there's all obviously these regulations, but also the biggest thing that I'm panicky about is I don't want to put her under the plane because I know that that does a lot for their like mental psychology. Apparently this is what I've read, but at the same time, me not being here and traveling backwards and forth for work is also not going to do well for her. So I'm in like catch 22. So if anyone's got any advice on how you can travel with a pet and how you can travel with someone of her caliber, she's a big strong girl. So if anyone can help me out, let me know. Right, we've got to go. We're going to go to the gym and then we have to go to the HQ, finish off some final bits of recording for the year, say bye to the team. We had our Christmas batch. It was amazing. Look at it. Couldn't have asked for the most incredible team of my life. Literally wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the team. I evolve you and Honor Active, so thank you, thank you, thank you. You're amazing. But then hopefully I get to see my niece or my nephew tonight. So you're coming along. You know what, guys? I don't feel well. I do it to myself, to be honest. I used to be so on my health stuff. I really did. I used to be like, no coffee, celery juice first. I remember I was watching YouTube videos of myself, which sounds, yeah, pretty narcissistic, but it was for research. And just looking back down memory lane, and I was like, what kind of vlogs did I used to do back in the day? And I was like, oh my God, when did I actually have the time to sit there and like juice celery and have celery juice in the morning before my coffee and all this extravagant breakfasts? And then I had the audacity to be like quick quick rapid fire healthy meals <laughs> dude i'm sorry but if you've been here since day one if you genuinely think that i am the same person i was five years ago reality check babes breakfast is sometimes i just need to get out of the house and grab a coffee before i'm late for my first meeting and you know i'll frantically make a shake and that is the reality like come on let's be honest about this because i feel like yes okay i started off as a fitness influencer and that is what my pure focus was and that's what i got paid to do and that is what other brands were paying me to do and i had all the time in the world to make these rapid quick fire meals now i'm like <laughs> if i miss this meeting i miss this deadline if i miss this deadline we're all screwed and i'm just like yo sorry but it's not reality and because i i work with so many influencers now through honor and evolve you i'm literally like a little bit jelly of them i'm like you have time like i wish i had some more time i'm just saying how it is i just wish i had the a bit more time on my hands and a little bit more of the luxury to make some avocado on toast and have the privilege to call it smashed avo on toast quick fire rapid meals okay right let's go to the gym starting off with the first compound move i've added an rdl here my top tips here are keep a soft bend to the knees make sure that you're actually hinging at the hip that means cutting at the hip make sure that you're pushing your hips back and travel with the barbell down keeping your chin tucked into your chest and into your body at all times but just make sure that you are slowing the movement down or reducing the weight if you can't feel it moving on to a leg press this exercise is more quad dominant but depending on your foot placement it's going to hit 
to different areas. As you can see here, my foot placement is neutral. It's not wide and it's not flared out. So I'm focusing predominantly on my quads and overall leg movement rather than a specific muscle movement. The next exercise should have been a seated hamstring curl. However, we have to make do with what your gym has. So we changed it into a lion hamstring curl. Please make sure that you are actually squeezing the movement at the top. And if you're doing a seated hamstring curl, you want to keep at least two second hold at the bottom or at the top to really, really make sure that you're feeling the movement on your hamstrings and not just speeding it up just to get it done. Hold it for two seconds before releasing. Moving on to a leg extension. Recently, I discovered it this way and I am absolutely obsessed. Lean completely back or you can come completely forward and isolate just areas of your quad but by leaning back you get a deeper stretch remember it's about the technique that you're using by changing it just slightly you are going to feel it in different areas and you're just going to sample different things moving on to your final movement we're going straight into a unilateral as you can see we've done a big compound move at the beginning of the workout followed by the leg press which is a big movement in itself but then you've gone into isolation movements and then finally you've gone into a unilateral movement which is so important for overall leg development, balance, but also your health, your joints, your ACL, which is really important for women to keep healthy and strengthen throughout the years. Look at this guys. Say hi. Hi. I have just finished recording the final bits for Evolve You for my new program, Redefined, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna go through it with you guys because it's probably my favorite program that I've done because it's the reality of how I'm training now. And that's why when it comes to programs, I launch them because that's how I'm training. So it doesn't make sense me not launching programs if I'm not training that way because then it's just very hard for me to talk about how I'm training with you. And then you're like, is that program or that work? workout even on the app and I'm like well kind of not because I'm not training like that anymore just finished up I'm gonna go finish up and do some ads uh selfie ads uh if you are someone watching who's into marketing and has their own business selfie ads on your iPhone perform the best just letting you know if you need a quick tip then I'm actually getting my face lasered today because I've got to just focus on all of these post acne scars that I've just indented my face hi just with my Honor Active CEO. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Everyone thought that I was like leaving the company because you're in here now. So everyone was like, so what does that mean for Honor? I was like, nothing really. It just means I don't have to stress out about half the things I stress out oh, about. Right. I'm not stepping down, I'm stepping to the side. Okay, bye guys. Bye. All right guys, I need to run these ads. See you soon. Go on, Laurie, what do you need to show me? Ooh. That's the new size of the gym bag. Yes, finally, a big gym bag. We've only been waiting since 1964, Laurie. <laughs> Before I was born. Oh! Yes, exactly. Very nice, love it. I'm more excited about this bad boy. Again, I'm so happy we didn't go for these straps. We're not going for those straps. No, 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 we're gonna go we're going for the for better what? straps, but this is stunning. Yeah, that makes sense for this. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna look like this. Look at this, guys, love it so much. I cannot wait for this. This is literally something I'm gonna use all the time. And then my team got me my own little studio belt because I'm always on set, and then I'm gonna put all my pins on there. Oh my God, thank you guys. This is like the best Christmas present I could have ever asked for. Anyway guys, bye, Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> okay, I've just come home. I just had my laser. I'm not sure if some of you may know, but I used to have really severe acne. I'll insert a picture here. And basically the acne's left me with quite a lot of scars. But then I get these pimples that come out on the sides of my jawline, which I know is hormonal. So I'm getting some acne laser done. I got home, absolute carnage. My sister-in-law, which I love so much, and it's like the sister I always wanted, is coming over. I don't know about you guys, but I don't do well with receiving gifts. I get a bit awkward, so when people buy me something, or even when I go out for coffees, and they're like, I'll get the coffee, I'm like, no, I'll get the coffee. You're not paying for me. I love gifting, hate receiving. So even this makes me feel uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, so cute. Guys, look how cute this is. <laughs> That's so cute and dainty. So who's this from? Oh. 
Aww. <laughs> this is how you know. I'm so disassociated to so many things going on. It's from Evolve You. Oh, I love when my own brand gets me gifts. That's how cute this is. Ah, oh, thanks Evolve You team. That's so sweet. So we've got some, oh, what are these? I'm not gonna lie, I'm that person. I don't like Christmas pudding, but my dad will love this. To be honest, I just want this, this thing. I don't want anything else. Oh, no, I like the honey. Oh, it's butter. And then it is, okay, let's try these biscuits. I'm so hungry. I've actually got a milk, mm-hmm. These are good. I need to make some food, I'm starving. So basically, I made this smoothie the other day and I didn't think much of it, and then it actually turned out better than what I anticipated, so I'm gonna share it with you. And by the way, I went from not being able to have any dairy to now being able to consume dairy, but really struggling with whey. Does anyone else have that issue, or is it just me? So when I drink milk, and if I buy like organic milk, let's say like pure whole organic milk, absolutely fine. When I have any type of whey, if I try a protein bar, if I try whey protein, it mashes me up. So cannot have that. Anyway, so here's what I did. Added milk and then I'm gonna butcher this. Kif, 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 whatever. I added a dash of that into this. And then I added frozen raspberries. I've also butchered this. Look at that. We won't <laughs> talk about that. Maple syrup, a dash. Flax seeds. I'm lying, it's hemp seeds. Whatever type of seeds you got. Sea moss. So I get a big glunk of sea moss. And peanut butter in there. And then the other ingredient I add, I know it says coffee creamer, but because it's got such high collagen in it, I just throw in some woman's best coffee creamer. I just put the collagen cream in my peanut butter. <laughs> Woo! What a day. All right, let me blend this up. And there you have it. I'm gonna make dinner a little bit later when my sister-in-law comes with my nephew. But for now, this will be enough. It actually tastes really, really good and it's super delicious. I hope you got that recipe, it was a bit of a carnage, but it's really good and doesn't mess my stomach up. Like I feel good when I have it. But again, I can't understand how I can have milk, but I can't have whey. I'm trying to research it and trying to understand it. I'm trying to figure it out. Leo, what's this? What are you showing me? Can I fix your hair? Wow, look at your top. What does it say? It says raw. Yes, yes, I love you too. Oh my God, look at her getting jelly. Cuddles. Oh, Leo, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, I've got my pajamas on. I actually got gifted these. Uh, they're super cute from the new Honor Active CEO. And he was like, I think it's time for you to relax, clearly. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to go through the Redefine program with you. Long story cut short, I shared a brand new workout with you from the program. This program is a program that I'm super, super excited about. And it is gonna be one of the last programs I do in a really, really long time. So it's a very special program for me. Everything I've learned over the past 10 years, I've concised into this program, a 12 week program. So the beauty about it is that you start and instantly the first two weeks, are all about foundational moves and compound moves and getting those done properly. Then you go into the next phase, which I called hypertrophy, which is all about higher rep ranges, more intensified workouts, supersets. Then we go into the final week of that segment, which I classified as strength. So then I lower the rep ranges. I'm focused purely on strength and I'm focusing on also reducing your rep ranges, increasing your rest periods. Then I added a deload week in there. When you're introduced to phase two, I'm encompassing what what you found in Power Strong with me and Danielle Wilson and add in those segments in there. Then we're going straight into Fuse. Fuse is every single element that I've ever taught you fused into two weeks and then it's the final stretch. And the final stretch is where I'm gonna push your limits and I'm gonna show you what you mentally and physically can do and what I know you've always been capable of doing. This is a concise and really confined 12 week program. I've never done a program like this before. So that's why I'm super excited about it. And I think you're absolutely gonna love it. And I think it's gonna be a program that you identify with 
and you will not get bored doing. I am buzzing for you to try this. I'll put the link in the bio. And even if you just want to give it a go, try the seven day free trial. If you don't like it, just unsubscribe. And it is what it is, but just go check it out and see what is offering out there. I hope I made it as simple as possible in the past three minutes of talking to you. Um, also check out Instagram because that's where we'll add more information and also pop any questions down below. I love you always and forever. I'm always thankful for you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.